So when we were deciding on a centerpiece for the women's suffrage exhibition, we knew we wanted to focus on um, the flight that took place on Staten Island. Staten Island was the um, first site of a flight for uh, the women's suffrage movement. Uh, Rosalie Gardner-Jones, who is from Long Island, came to uh, an aeronautical carnival on Staten Island in 1913, um, and she got into a biplane with a local pilot, Harry Bingham Brown, and they flew from Grant City to the grounds of the carnival in Oakwood, um, and she dropped women's suffrage leaflets along the way. Um, and we thought that was a story that was really unique to Staten Island, which, was, which had a, a robust community of aviators at the time, um, and it was something we wanted to showcase um, so we were trying to figure out a way to get a biplane here to Snug Harbor um, for the opening festivities of the exhibition. We didn't know whether we would uh, have one fly over or, or rent a historic biplane, but there were some complications with that idea and we thought, uh, our development office thought, what if we partnered with Makerspace, which is a fantastic um, arts organization on Staten Island. Uh, and so the d idea developed from there that not only would Makerspace design and build the plane, but that uh, women staffers from the Staten Island Museum and their veterans of their women welders class would participate in that project to build a, a plane, a model plane or a plane sculpture. Um, so for the past month we've been working on, we've been learning to weld, to cut metal, to um, fabricate a plane essentially um, with the fantastic teachers Scott Van Campen and Emily Perina, um, and we just put it up yesterday. So it's been um, an incredible experience and we're so excited to share it with you.